Okay guys, I'm going to explain to you the RD9100 technical spec and I'm going to show it to you when we turn on the MGUD, what's going to happen to the reading. So the RD9100 measures in terms of power unit. Okay, it's actually measuring from 1 microwatts per square centimeter to the maximum of 1999 microwatts per square centimeter. Okay, now if the meter goes overload, meaning the reading goes above 2000, it's going to show or indicate a digit 1 like this. Okay, so when you see digit 1 like this, means the meter went beyond 2000 microwatts. Right, now let me turn on the detector here and show you that you know, whenever you put a phone close to this detection ring, which is full of copper coil, it's going to pick up the power density from the phone. So now it's showing an averaging about 1000 to about 1500 microwatts per square centimeter. As soon as I remove the phone away from the, the coil, it's not picking up any radiation from the coil itself. So let me do it again. Just put the phone close to the ring. And now it's measuring for up to, this is more than 2000, okay? All right, this is more than 2000. There you go. Now, as soon as I power up the MDAT, let me show you what happens, okay? So, now, the reading is about 2000 microwatts in average. And let's power up the MDAT. So immediately, as you can see, the MDAT is alleviating the radiation from the mobile phone. Now, as soon as I remove the power from the MDAT, so the detector is going to pick up the reading again from the screen. It's going up to about 2000 microwatts per square centimeter. The next item I'm going to show you is the induction cooker. This is something that we use in the kitchen. So before I power up the induction cooker, there is no radiation reading from the detector. And as soon as I power up the induction cooker, the reading shoots up to 2000 microwatts. Okay? Now let's see what happens when we turn on the M guard. Let me power on the M guard. Okay, let me do a control test. Remove the power from M guard. There you go. And reinsert the power back to M guard. So M guard has the ability to alleviate the radiation from the induction cooker. Now I'm going to show you the radiation reading from the DV box. As soon as I turn on the detector, the entire area is more than 2000 microwatts because the DV box is just right here. Now let me show you what happens when we turn on the MGUD. Everything goes back to neutral, zero. Let's go control test by switching off the MGUD. Immediately the radiation comes back. Okay, turn it back on. Right. 